The centre-backs that Manchester United currently have in the squad are, to be polite, absolutely terrible at football. Phil Jones shouldn't be at Manchester United next season. Chris Morning shouldn't be at Manchester United next season. Marcus Rojo shouldn't be at Manchester United next season. Eric Bay, potential is there, but he needs a world-class centre-back alongside him. And the same goes for Victor Lindelof. And the likes of Tuan Zebe and Fosu Mensah are both out on loan, so we can't really talk about them. The current selection that Jose Mourinho has got simply isn't good enough to be starting at centre-back for Manchester United. Just like Liverpool's defence needed a Virgil van Dijk to really solidify their defence, Manchester United need a centre-back like that. And maybe that would be Napoli's Kalidou Koulibaly. Now, Man United have been heavily linked with Koulibaly and a potential January transfer move from Jose Mourinho, if, of course, he's still in charge of Manchester United, which I think he will be. But who is Koulibaly? What are his strengths and weaknesses? Where's the story coming from? And is there any chance of it actually happening? I'll cover everything in today's video. But before we do get into the video, this video is sponsored by OneFootball because United People's TV and OneFootball have linked up this Christmas. Now, if you haven't already checked out the One Football app, you really genuinely need to. A fantastic football app. You can get everything from all the latest news you need from Manchester United to all of the match day coverage from stats, lineups, news quotes after the game, everything you need in one place. You can create a personalised Manchester United news feed and it actually is really one of the most useful football related news apps that you can have on your phone. So there's a link in the description, you can go down there and install it, but genuinely, it's actually a good app. So you should go and install it if you haven't got it already. So, where is the story of Koulibaly to Manchester United coming from? Now, it's being fed by Duncan Castles in the Sunday Times. We all know who Duncan Castles is. We've covered him lots on United People's TV, but he is the mouthpiece of Jorge Mendes and Jose Mourinho, has followed him the whole way through from his Chelsea days to Manchester United now. So when he speaks, you listen to what he has to say. He's saying that Manchester United have been quoted £90 million sterling by Napoli for Kalidou Koulibaly. Goes on to say that Koulibaly is Jose Mourinho's top defensive target for January. You're not going to get many better than Koulibaly, so he's probably top of many people's lists. Also goes on to say that Ed Woodward has met with officials from Napoli to discuss the potential for a January transfer, but that Napoli's president has no intention of letting Koulibaly go, who is one of their prized assets. And he really is one of the world's best centre-backs. But who is Kalidou Koulibaly? Now, he started off in France. He started off in Metz's youth academy. And he also went on to play for Metz's first team before making a move to Genk. And it was from Genk that Napoli signed him in 2014. And since then, he has established himself as one of the world's best centre-backs in Serie A as well. A league which is built on excellent defences. And that has helped him become one of the world's best centre-backs. I mean, if you look at his game, there really aren't that many weaknesses. You know, does he have strength? Two of his nicknames are K2, the mountain, and the wall. So that really tells you everything you need to know about Koulibaly's strength. But has he got the pace to match it? As we saw against Liverpool, he matched Mo Salah down the, down the wing. Now, obviously, Salah turned him inside out for the goal, but overall, that performance from Koulibaly was fantastic. He's got pace, he's got strength. Has he got versatility? He can play across all of the back four positions and also in defensive midfield as well. Is he comfortable with the ball at his feet? Absolutely. And that's what you need to be as a modern day centre-back. And in the attacking sense, does he have goals in him? Absolutely. He's a real threat from set pieces. So in the overall package, Koulibaly does have everything. And especially when you compare him to Manchester United's current centre-backs, it's on a different level how good he is. But the main question to ask here is, what are the chances of it actually happening? Of course, Koulibaly, if you sign for any Premier League team, would automatically become one of the best centre-backs in the Premier League. But what are the chances of Napoli letting him go? Strangely enough, Liverpool knocking Napoli out of the Champions League could help Manchester United in this regard. Because if Napoli currently vying for the title in Serie A with Juventus, they wouldn't be selling Koulibaly if they had that and the Champions League as well. But without the Champions League, maybe there's a negotiation to have. But we've never completed a signing on Koulibaly's level in January before. January, a, a transfer window notorious for it being difficult to sign major players. Juan Mata, when we signed him from Chelsea, is probably the biggest example of a big signing that United made. But Chelsea wanted to get rid of Mata. Koulibaly is a different thing altogether. 
Napoli have, would have no intention of selling him, but if he went in with an offer they couldn't refuse, the conversation would be opened. Do you think that Napoli would sell? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And of course, another question to ask is, would Cooley Barley be a good signing for Manchester United? I genuinely think he would be a good signing for pretty much any team in the world. You saw his qualities against Liverpool. Yes, Salah caused him problems and ultimately that's how Liverpool got their goal. But other than that, it was a dominant performance. Just like Van Dijk is for Liverpool, that's what Cooley Barley was for Napoli. And could you imagine him at Manchester United? You know, I keep referring to Van Dijk because I think it's an example of a club who has brought in an expensive defender that's just transformed their defence. And United, for years and years, we've bought plenty of centre-backs, but we've never, ever been able to re-establish that partnership that Rio and Vidic had. Now, no one at the club is on the Rio and Vidic level. But if you look at, say, Johnny Evans at Manchester United, when Nemanja Vidic got injured and he played alongside Rio Ferdinand, a world-class centre-back, Evans became infinitely better because he had a partner alongside him that gave him the ability to be more comfortable in his position. And I think... Koulibaly could do that at United with Eric Bai or Victor Lindelof. I think they are crying that the potential is there for both of them to be world-class centre-backs in the future. They just need a partner to bring the best out of them. You know, Joe Gomez again at Liverpool, he probably wouldn't be anywhere right now without having Van Dijk alongside him, but the partnership works well. And at United, Bai is not good enough to be a leader, Lindelof's not good enough to be a leader, and let's not talk about Smalling, Jones or Rojo. So we need a leader and someone like Cooley Barley, wow, he would absolutely transform United's defence. But the story is coming from Duncan Castles in the Times. Let me know what you think about you know, the truth of the story. Do you think there's any chance that United could sign Cooley Barley in the January transfer window? Would you want to sign him? I don't know why you wouldn't, but let me know if Cooley Barley was signed, for example, what would be your ideal start in defence in front of David De Gea? Let me know in the comments below as always. But it's so a January transfer window coming up and the football is shite right now for United. So I'm going to focus wherever possible on something a little bit positive. And maybe that's in the idea of bringing in a new defensive recruitment in Koulibaly or a different centre-back. Let me know what you think in the comments below as always. If you're new to United People's TV and you haven't subscribed to the channel, go down there, click subscribe, join the United People's TV community. But until next time, take it easy.